hello friends welcome back guys in this video we'll talk about a string constant pool which is one of the very important java interview question so guys in this video i'll explain what exactly a string constant pool is and i'll also explain how exactly it works and what is the advantage of having a string constant pool in java all right guys so that being said let's begin the video all right guys so first of all let's have a look how can we create a string object in java like what are the different ways to create a string object in java okay so guys very first way is by using string literals what exactly literal it is just a sequence of characters okay sequence of characters second way is to create a string object by using a new keyword okay by using new keyword all right well, let's talk about string literals right so say for example if i do like this a string as equals to what i can print say okay java right so what exactly this thing is a string as is a string type object having value okay java correct and if i talk about the new keyword what i can do is a string as one equals to new string and then i'll pass the string say for example here also i'll pass okay java simple so basically there are two ways to create a string object in java one is by using a string literals second one is by using new keyword okay a string s1 equals to new and then you pass the string let's talk about the memory like how exactly these things a string s and the literal okay java is getting stored in the memory okay okay let me draw a big box here so for example this is the jvm memory okay let me just call it what jvm memory and inside this jvm memory what do i have we have got something called a stack okay what else do we have we have got this another remaining area is what it's called heap i hope you guys know about it right okay inside heap there is uh, one specific area and this particular area is known as string constant pool a string constant pull sc all right guys very simple thing this is the jvm memory inside memory we have got a stack and then we have got heap inside heap there is a one specific particular area which is known as a string constant pull okay let's say i'm using a string object by using a string constant pull string s equals to let's call it okay java all right guys so what is s s is reference variable which is pointing to a string object or a value or a literal called okay java right so now guys as we know that all the string reference variable goes to stack okay so what i will do i'll just let's go here so s will be stored in stack okay and what about the literal ok java so this particular literal ok java will be stored in the very specific memory which is called string constant pool okay so i hope this much is clear like all the reference variable will go to stack will be stored in stack and string literals will be stored in string constant pool okay now guys say for example i have another string let me call it a string i'll call it h equals to hello okay now guys can you explain where exactly this h will be stored and the literal will be stored very simple right so h will go in the stack memory this will be stored here and literal will be stored in string constant pool simple so easy cool right now guys say for example i have one more string i'll just create here one more string so guys I have quickly added two more strings s1 and s2 the string object we know that s1 and s2 will be stored in a stack and the literal will be stored in a string constant pool right so I've got ok java and ok java now guys there is a problem as you can see that we are repeating the same literal again and again so it means that a string constant pool is not memory efficient right so to make it memory efficient what jvm does is like so for example if I'm using a string s equals to ok java and this is my very first entry that i am creating a string object having value okay java very first time so what jvm will do it will simply go and will create this very first entry in a string constant pool right because at the very first time nothing was there in the string constant pool right so jvm will go and will create okay java in a string constant pool and then for the next object string h equals to hello we know that hello is not there in a string constant pool so obviously it will just go and put hello in a string constant pool okay so hello will be stored in scp all right guys now for the next object string s1 equals to ok java so what jvm does it will simply go and will check whether we have ok java already in string constant pool or not if it is there what it does it will simply return the reference of that particular memory instance for example so what this s1 will point to same memory location okay 
and same goes with the string s2 we already have ok java so s2 also will point to the same memory location same same letter that we created very first time while creating the object s okay so in jvm you won't have these two entries it won't be there it won't be there i hope you guys are getting it right so what jvm does it will first go and check whether we have the literal already in a string constant pool or not if it is not there then it will simply go and create that literal in a string constant pool if it is there it will simply return that memory reference okay so that particular string reference or object will point to the same literal which is stored in the memory okay i will prove this thing in a minute okay in the demo section we will see so for example guys one more time i'll just take one more example just to make it very much clear so if i use a string say s3 equals to and i call it welcome now guys what will happen s3 obviously in a stack because this is the reference variable what about the literal welcome now jvm will go and check whether we have welcome in a string constant pool obviously is not there right so what it will do because welcome does not exist jvm will create a new entry in a string constant pool now for the next time if i have another string string 4 right like this a string s4 equals to welcome right now guys i hope you know what will happen this time because s4 obviously it will go in a stack i don't have enough space here so i'll just put here s4 will go here in a stack s4 now because welcome is already there in the string constant pool so jvm obviously won't create a new entry it will make sure that s4 points to the same memory same string literal i hope you guys are getting it let me give you a demo and then i will make you understand then what exactly is string constant pool and how can we make sure that jvm is not creating these literals again and again in the string constant pool okay so guys let me go to the ide i'll just create a class let's call it what should i call it i'll just call it test only okay so for example guys very first string was string s equals to what it was okay java let me just make the font size big so that you can see clearly okay guys so we know about this one that s1 will go in a stack and okay java will be stored in a string constant pool because at the very first time okay java is not there right so s1 will be stored here in okay java because this is the first time we are creating the object the literal okay java right this is the very first entry first time we are creating right so it will go into the string constant pool okay cool now what is happening next next is another literal another string object which is pointing to hello okay so this is the next object string h equals to it is pointing to hello now guys what exactly will happen here obviously h the reference variable will be stored in stack which is here and hello so jvm will go and check whether we have hello in scp whether we have hello in string constant pool so obviously we don't have hello because this is the very first entry which we have here so now jvm will go and will create this entry hello okay because it wasn't there cool then next time if i have next object string s1 equals to pointing to ok java now guys what will happen here obviously s1 the reference variable will be stored in a stack which is right what about the literal ok java now jvm right it will just go and check whether we have ok java already in a string constant pool obviously it is already there so there will not be a new entry in a string constant pool so basically s and s1 will be pointing to the same string literal which is in string constant pool all right guys let's make sure that s1 and s and s1 is pointing to the same memory location guys what about the double colon operator in string what it does it checks for the memory reference correct if two objects are pointing to the same memory location then double equals operator will give you true as it will give false okay so what i want to do i want to make sure that s1 s and s1 is pointing to the same memory location or not right so i'll just write here what memory reference okay enough for now and just in case if it is not true is out false all right guys let me just run and see the output guys what do you see true s and s1 is pointing to the same memory location okay same memory reference now guys if i have to test s equals to equals to h what will happen just go and run it is false why because double equals to operator it doesn't compare the values it compares the memory location if both of the references or both of the objects are pointing to same memory location then it will return true as it will give false which is true in this case because s is pointing to ok java a different memory location h is pointing to hello which is a different memory location okay now guys let's go back to our example for example if i have s2 okay let's go back here and let's create s2 now guys 
let's see what will happen if I compare S1 and S2 so I will just put here S1 and S2 what my understanding is like as per this particular diagram S1 and S2 both are pointing to the same memory location okay same object so basically it should return true uh, so I'll just put here S1 and then S2 okay let's run the program Java application what do you see true S1 and S2 is pointing to same memory reference all right guys i hope you guys are getting it now and guys if i talk about the s3 and s4 what i will do i'll simply go and create two more objects s3 equals to say welcome we are creating welcome for the first time right for the first time here so obviously jvm will go and will add this entry welcome in string constant pool but next time string s4 equals to welcome what will happen literal is welcome it will just go and check whether we have welcome in string constant pool if it is there it will make sure that s4 points to the same memory location okay now guys if i have to compare s3 and s4 let's see the result what do you see true right we know the reason because s3 and s4 pointing to the same string literal which is welcome now if i have to cross verify for example let's compare s2 with s4 obviously because S2 is pointing to what? S2 is pointing to OK Java. S4 is pointing to welcome, which is two different memory locations, right? So it will return false. OK, guys. So I hope you are getting it, right? The idea behind a string constant pull is to make it more memory efficient. Now, guys, so far we have discussed how can we create a string object by using a string literal and what is the purpose of a string constant pull. Now, guys, if I create an object, right? If I create an object by using new keyword right then let's see how exactly the system behaves what exactly happens behind the scene okay so memory is as is we have got jvm we have got stack we have got heap and we have got a string constant port okay okay now let's go and create a new string object by using new keyword right a string in double quotes i'll pass the value let's call it all right now guys you know that a1 because this is the reference variable will be stored in a stack there is no doubt at all second is value okay so guys one thing whenever we use new keyword right the value will be stored in heap at the same time the value will be copied in string constant pool as well but yeah here again jvm will make sure whether do we already have that value in string constant pool i hope you guys are getting it right say for example let me just go and create one more object here and this time we'll call it say a2 okay equals to so new keyword and this time also okay let's go with welcome just for example sake okay a different value so a2 reference variable will be stored in the stack new because we are using new keyword to create a new string called welcome so it will be stored in heap and because there is nothing in string constant pool same value will be copied to a string constant pool as well all right now guys how can we make sure that it is happening right so what i will do i'll just go and create one more object let's call it a string s3 equals to new a string and this time also here i'll pass say same object okay java now what will happen s3 the reference variable will be stored in sorry let's call it a3 i want to call it a3 okay it will be stored in a stake value okay java will be stored in heap okay so guys this is pointing to the new memory location in heap okay it is not replacing but yeah because at the same time jvm creates the same value in a string constant pool but this time we already have ok java so it won't create a new entry in a string constant pool so in heap we have got two ok java but in string constant pool there will be one entry only like now guys if i go and repeat same like let me just copy and paste this one here if i can so let me just call it a4 now guys what will happen because a4 is a new object new reference variable obviously it will go to stake and welcome because we are using new keyword right so the value will be created in again it will go i'll check okay let me store this value in a string constant pool as well but because we already have welcome in a string constant pool it won't create a new entry okay how can we prove this so what i will do let's go back to the ide and i'll just remove everything from here let's go and create a string okay java okay sorry uh, it is a1 right a1 and i'll just go and create a2 equals to java now as if i run a1 equals to equals to a2 what will happen because a1 is also having same string object okay java a2 is also having same string object 
ok java so what is the expected output here so i'll just call it true here and else false let me run the program what do you see false a1 and a2 is not pointing to sorry a1 and a3 okay so just to match with this example i'll just change the reference variable to a1 and a3 okay because here a1 and a3 both are having same object value okay java but in heap that value is stored in two different locations okay you can see here right let me just take this one so a1 is is pointing to this okay java which is in say for example one memory location it won't be one it will be some xxx1 and a3 is pointing to this particular ok java which is in say memory position let's say 3 only okay so the result is obviously false let me run it one more time false if a1 dot equals a3 true sys out false okay so what will happen this is i'm using what a1 dot equals and double equals to let me just run this one so if you see double equals to is just returning what false because a1 and a3 is not pointing to same memory location but yes the content the value is same that's why equals to is giving what true cool right now guys as i mentioned here so if you go to string constant pool i already have ok java and welcome right so a1 is pointing to same ok java like this is how this would look like same value even this is also pointing to same welcome is here and as far as pointing this welcome and this is here okay so let me prove this one so for example i want to create a new what should i call it s1 this time equals to okay java now we know how this s1 will work because reference variable obviously it will go and stored in the stack and later it will be stored in string constant pool right so let's go here so what will happen let's go s1 would be in a stack and ok java the letter will be stored in a string constant pool but guys remember we already have ok java in place right so it won't create a new entry what it will do it will just make sure that s1 is also pointing to the same ok java same memory of memory reference okay how can i prove so okay so s1 is pointing to a memory location which is a string constant pool and a1 is pointing to a memory location which is in heap right so obviously I'm expecting false here. I'll just remove this part for now. Control S and run this particular program. What it says? False. And we know the reason. Okay. I hope you guys are getting it right. All right, guys. Let's discuss this particular thing again. A string A1 equals to new string and then OK Java. S1, the reference variable, will go in a stack. OK Java, the value will be stored in heap. At the same time, if this is the very first time, obviously jvm will create a copy in string constant pool now guys my intent is i want to access this particular value which is there in a string constant pool how can i access this particular so guys let's go and create a new object s3 equals to a1 dot i'm going to call a function called intern okay so let's see how this a1 dot intern behaves so guys s3 obviously it is a reference variable that will be created in the stack okay now a1 dot intern right so what exactly is a1 dot intern stands for it means that it will call the internal value which is there in a string constant pool so this s3 will be pointing to the mem to the memory which is here basically a internal value which is there in a string constant pool right so s3 will point to the ok java which is created while creating the a1 object okay so let me prove this and for example now i know that s3 is also pointing to what is pointing to ok java which is in string constant pool right which is in a string constant pool now i know s2 and s2 also there in a string constant pool so for example if i run let's compare these values s1 equals to equals to s3 and let's see what comes out of this one it says true what will happen if i compare a1 with s3 now guys a1 if you go back is pointing to ok java which is there in heap and s3 is pointing to ok java which is there in string constant pool right so obviously the result will be false let's see the output it says false i hope you guys are getting it all right guys we are done with this video thank you for watching and please do subscribe my channel